Hello YouTube! Scrolling through Kaote Club website another day, I have spotted that company released new version of CNC Warren Tab version 2, which have to be an improved version of their full metal after bed leveling mount for Warren Stealth Burner toolhead. I have sent Kaote Club an email and they agreed to sponsor this video by sending this mount free of charge and I already own CNC Tab version 1 from Kaote Club that I have installed on my printer about 3 months ago and so far I had only one little issue with it. While mounting X-axis end stop switch, somehow I was able to strip one of the threads. The fix was simple, I just used flatter screw out here with a little nut. But it's not something that I expected to happen with aluminum part. Let's open the box and take a look at the actual product and what's inside of it. So inside of the box we have stickers, Tap itself, some extra screws, and the cable. Looks like the cable exactly the same. I hope I'm gonna be able to use my cable that I pre-made for this specific tab. Let's open the bracket and see what it comes with. Two screws, very nice, and extra screws. I assume it is for the mount of the tool head. The box is empty, nothing else in there. I just disassembled my tool head and took older version of the tab so we can actually compare it. And here you can see newer version and the older version. Out here, right away, we can see that on the older version there was a switch used and now we actually have Amron SX4320 contactless optical switch which circuitry is finally supports between 5 and 24 volts incoming power. Looks like version 2 uses exactly the same HVN MGN H7 linear rail, very quality rails, you can see the size exactly the same. Coyote Club states that it has threaded inserts, I am not sure where exactly those are, I assume that's, that's what we have right here. Version 2 also addresses the issue in which TAP loses Y-axis travel. It could save about 5 mm wide travel compared to other top mounts. Second generation have magnets located on the side, right here. So you can see right here, magnet is working. Where the first generation had magnet right nearby the rail and rail actually was the part that getting in a contact. Overall tactile feel is exactly the same. It feels similar, but I feel like uh, second generation have smaller travel on the top itself, so it probably will make it a bit sturdier. Kaoji Club states that newer version of CNC top with uh, X and stop bracket is about 5 grams heavier than version 1. It is also half millimeter thicker, but still thinnest and lightest interpretation of Warren top around. Before taking down current setup, I have made few resonance tests on my X and Y axis and generated related graphs. Looks like the pinout for the contact stayed the same. So if you are upgrading from one version to another, you just slap in the same cable. It will save me some time moving from version 1 to version 2. While installing a newer version, I noticed that there is some O-rings installed right here. And a place where we have contact with actual linear rail. And I assume that is going to improve vibration situation a little bit. So I just powered it on and we're going to take a look if it will work. In my previous warrant up installation video, people asked me how did I wired my warrant up. I have EBB2209 installed on my tool head and I just wired it right here. You can see ground, power and uh, signal wire. This is the end X stop and I'm using PT1000 connected out there and gun is coming right here. That's it. So after installing a tap, we need to do manual probe calibration. It's a run with a common probe calibrate and you just simply adjust till you can feel wherever drag on the paper and then you run the test print to figure out how you want the first layer to look like. So 
So I have assembled all the printer, honed it, did the Z-tilt. We just printed the first layer and now I'm doing input shaper calibration. You can probably hear it's processing automatic calibration. I will generate graphs from that and show on the screen. I am calibrating with all of the panels installed. That's the way my printer will operate. In perfect world, I probably will have to take this out just to rerun it, but this is the first test run I'm running. Just wanna see, will it be better or not? And what are we gonna get? I have made first calibration and it wasn't good. And that's the reason. Don't forget to make your board to see it properly. Here you can see I'm building graphs based on automatic calibration data that was generated during the process. And unfortunately, board mount issue was not the only issue with my printer. Because I had very short belts on my warren, I had to untighten all the screws that were holding the belts to get second generation installed properly. And that's where I introduced a lot of random in whole calibration process. I wasn't able to get exactly the same tension on the belts, I wasn't able to get exactly the same gantry level, and it took quite some time to at least tune the printer. I learned a lot during the process, but anyway, now we are going to slice Warren Cube and print it and see how it will come out with the settings you see on the screen. Here is our final print, I just sliced, Ugh. let's take it out. While editing, I realized that most people might realize it looks horrible out here, but I was printing 10 degrees higher in order to make this part glossier to reveal the resonances. That's why we have cooling issues. Cooling might be better, regular overhang issues here, I don't see any crazy ringing. The model you see right now is under harsh light, like if I turn it this way it will look perfect, but here the light on the top makes everything visible. Resonance frequency calibration looks pretty good considering the speeds. I need to figure out if the overhands and the cooling. I've been printing in a closed door environment here, so PLA doesn't really like to be printed closed on this specific printer because of the cooling. Maybe I will add auxiliary fan later, but so far so good. And that's pretty much it for this video. Like, subscribe, leave your comments. Let the force be with you. See you at the next one. Bye-bye.